Yo, YouTube man, what it do? It is your boy, Naji, aka T G U, and we back in the stew with another special treat for you, man. Hey, this is a bit of a different one today, as you can see from the title and from the thumbnail. This is gonna be more of a discussion-based video, so I in implore that you guys hop in the comments for this one and really give me your thoughts as you watch this video or even after you've watched this video whether it's through halfway or the entirety of it i'm trying not to make it too long so you guys have the attention span or those of you that have an attention span of a goldfish you can actually watch and then remember what i said and then be able to have discussion in the comments as well so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it but before we do i would urge you guys as well to leave a like on the video as it shows support for this type of content on the channel if you like discussion type based videos um for your favorite artists coming up in the underground scene or just anything in general whether it be mainstream rap mainstream this mainstream that or just underground stuff in general let me know in the comments down below as well as give me recommendations in the comments down below i love hearing from you guys now to get on to the topic at hand right we're talking about sewer person today i know back-to-back -back sewer person videos it has been a minute since i've been on that type of time but we gonna get right into it man so i want to take a, t a second to bring up my points right so we're going to touch on a couple of things in this video one has sewer person hit his ceiling all right i'm gonna go ahead and hit that up right now we'll get to that points later but has sewer person hit his ceiling my basic answer is no i do not believe that sewer person has hit his ceiling i think when it comes to sewer person he's fallen into a unfortunate situation that a lot of artists fall into when they've garnered such a in such an occult type fan base where the fan base is either split between people and they, the the general consensus is that they love this guy a lot but they're split between the people that want him to release very frequently and so often to just keep it's almost like a drug they just want to keep on injecting the venom they want to keep injecting the goddamn drug into their veins they can't get enough of them and then there's the other half of the fan base that doesn't care how long it takes for him to release his music as long as it bops so what sewer's been on is trying to release projects full projects as frequently as possible and i think when you are an artist and you're looking for quality you're looking for quality consistent albums and eps and things of that nature you need to take time to cultivate that stuff you need to take time to truly allow it to simmer and marinate and cook and then you release it to the public but because of the pressure being put on it's it's almost like sewers being forced to drop an album or an ep every every couple of months every so often and honestly if i'm being for real i would prefer if sewer was one of those artists that took maybe like six seven months to make a, a new album and then drops that joint or even a year who knows and then in that time frame in the space in between he can drop like little singles here and there if he really wanted to if he really wanted to but in terms of the bigger projects i think he needs to save time to really allow them to cook and even sometimes take a break take a break i know that's probably counterintuitive for a lot of you artists out that are out there and think oh no it's not a good idea to take a break it's a great idea to take a break you know why it's a great idea to take a break because when you're constantly just going and 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 going at some point at some point whether you like it or not at some point you're going to face burnout you're going to face a situation and i it might not even be uh burnout to you but you're going to face a situation where nothing's coming to you you blanked writer's block burnout whatever you want to call it you're going to face a situation like that because you've just constantly just been going and putting out music and putting out putting out putting out putting out putting out and i think to put actual to give you guys an example i'm not going to name any names but there's um a artist in my community that i follow that that went on record recently 
saying how you know they're, gonna, they're probably gonna take a break because they really have nothing to work with <laughs> so they're waiting for people to get back so so that they can actually get back onto the drawing board so that's just another example of that sometimes it's just you just run out of resources you run out of ways to do things <laughs> so what i would prefer is probably not the popular opinion but I feel like if you're looking for the longevity of sewer person, if you're looking for Miles' best interest and you want him to become the artist he is destined to be, you give him the breathing room to create some music that is actually going to leave a lasting impression on somebody. I think the last, and this is me being completely transparent and completely honest, okay? Including Push. And I, I have his SoundCloud pulled up, so I have reference points here. But including Push, his last three album slash EPs, we have Push, Mud, and The Elixir, okay? I'll even throw in You Feel Me 1 into that mix. So the last four projects he's released, right? There is no real takeaway set of tracks from those that I, like, 100% just is, is in... Is in printed in my being like i just it, i just love these tracks so much they're just running the mill set together formula or for or formula formula based tracks that have worked like they just the sound has worked the rhythm has worked the cadence has worked this is what we're doing that's what these track that's what these tracks and these eps and albums have been giving me recently mud I think I even even when I was reacting to Mud, I felt like it was very underwhelming because it simply just didn't do anything for me. And it was really just the overall vibe of it all, you know, in all honesty. But also, I feel like it suffered from that same thing where it was very formula, formula based and it just didn't give me much to do for it. You know, it didn't give me much to, to really go off of. And then even with Push that we just recently reacted to the other day. Listen, I, I mean, only about two tracks on there I really still listen to on the side. And that's 1983 and that Vape track. Other than that, I don't listen to any other track on the side. I listen to it in the reaction and then that's it. So that's what I think. If Has Sewer hit his ceiling? No, but I feel like he needs more time to cultivate his art i think he's not given enough time and i think if we as a fan base give him enough time to actually cultivate his work he will be able to shine and he will be able to impress us time and time again he has the talent for it he has the work ethic for it i just think he doesn't have enough time to really get into his bag and really do what he has to do to leave that imprint on us you feel me but anyways onward to the second point now, my second discussion point of this video and the last one, really, because I don't really want to have this video be too drawn out, like I said before, but my second point is going to be, has the fan base become too divisive towards Sewer? Uh, and what I mean by that is that it seems like I was saying before, there is a divide. There's a divide, and and in that divide, there's a subdivide as well. There's like a subdivision of people that, you know, there's people that are still so stuck on the older sound of Sewer slash Nine Tails. Right, let's bring that up. Let's bring that up, right? That they can't get over the fact that his music has changed, so they've kind of fallen off as fans. Um, and or they still listen to his music, but they regularly hate on his music because they just aren't getting that sound that they want. And I feel like when you have such a closed minded taste and has such a closed minded perspective of your favorite artist. So when they change or alter their music, you simply they fall out of your grace. They fall out of your grace and you no longer rock with them as much as you believed you did when they were making their music originally um for example i know another artist shinigami if you guys know shinigami um they went through an entire change like i think they changed their name they changed their sound they changed everything because they didn't like the way that you know they didn't like their current 
sound and, and the music they were making and what it was doing for them they got they kind of got through that part of their life and they wanted to go and make do, uh, different music and people you know had mixed reviews about that um funny enough considering that the music honestly was really just a therapy session for him and so when he was done with that therapy session you know he moved on to something else that made him feel better you know he didn't want to keep singing about the the sad stuff but i understand that when artists are making music and they're releasing it it can work as a therapy session for you the listener as well so i understand that when these artists change their sound and move on to something a little less um in their fields and this that, and a third it doesn't resonate the same so i understand but there's that half of the, of, the, of the fan base um in that regard and then there's the half of the fan base that likes what he's going with it, you know the new direction of what his music sounds like in the second third and so these two halves of the fan base regularly clash you know what i'm saying and usually the side that is hating on his new sound and or just constantly like idolizing nine tail sound you know the nine tails era of sewer person and, and saying regularly that he fell off or some shit like that even though i don't know how he's fallen off if he's still <laughs> he's still going crazy but i mean it, it is what it is people have their opinions it is what it is so to my my thoughts on that, I think everybody is entitled to their own opinion, right? As, as you know, everybody has an opinion, they're entitled to it, it is what it is. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to like every opinion or that I agree with them. It's just that they are entitled to have that opinion if they want to. And my personal opinion, I've already kind of alluded to, if you've watched already the first like seven or eight minutes of this video, you would know that... In my opinion, I think Seward Person has a lot left to give. I think that he is moving in a direction that's good for him and that's good for his music because it's sounding more like something that will survive in that mainstream sound, right? It's sounding like something that will more, you know, speak to the general populace as opposed to just this niche audience that he's made throughout the years, cultivating his audience. And so... He's trying to step into a sound that's more appealing to not just his fan base, but to other people out there. So I understand what he's going for. And at the same time, though, I also think that if he spends a little bit more time cultivating that sound, he will definitely see the fruits of his labor. He will definitely see the results because and they will be gracious. They will be absolutely 100 percent in his favor because people will see the body of work, they'll see the talent and they will resonate with it and they will start flocking to them. So, um, in terms of Sewer's fan base being very divisive and um, and overall just, just being kind of, uh, I don't even want to use the word needy, but it, it gives it, gives it, you know what I'm saying? Like, just constantly needing a drop, constantly needing a new album or this, that, and a third. I think there's an artist out there, uh, Convolk, I believe. Convolk. I might be mispronoun mispronouncing his name. I apologize. But Convolk, I believe, took like two years off. I think, I, has he even, hold on, I'm going to search him up on real quick on, on SoundCloud. I'm going to search him up on SoundCloud real quick. Hold on a sec. Mm. yeah so like <laughs> like buddy is still yeah so it, it's just the the dual out the duality of it you know what i'm saying you have artists that are releasing super frequently and so it really dries up their well like it gives it gives no time for them to really be able to move on and do anything different whereas you got certain artists that release every so often a new album a new ep and that works out for them because they know their fan base ends up starving for more as opposed to being it, it, it's the it's the it's the same thing with say you have a kid that's starving and you have a kid that's spoiled rotten and his, his belly is nice and full right he doesn't have the same appreciation for the meal you cook 
than the starving kid that has nothing, right? So it's the same concept, right? If you're an artist that gives your fan base a lot of time to really just wait and wait and sit and just ponder if you're going to drop again versus an artist that's just dropping, just dropping nonstop, your fan base is nice and fed. They don't really appreciate you like the artist that is constantly dropping just every seven to eight, nine months or yearly, right? But I digress. Everybody has their own opinion. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this situation with Sewer Person. Let me know what you guys think overall about um, the fan base, about how often he drops his albums, his EPs, his music in general. And overall, let me know any other type of artist you want me to cover. I will do my research on those artists, and I will also make a discussion video on those two. So let me know. But yeah, that's going to do it. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And if you happen to be new, I teach you, a.k.a. Najee, or the vice versa, however you want to say it. If you happen to enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy more of my content. You can check my playlist out on the on the channel. I, I cover Sewer Person, Haylog, Haylog, anybody else you can think about. I'll cover them on the channel. You can check out my channel down below. And hopefully I see you around more often on the channel. Go ahead and hit the big red button so that you never miss an upload from your boy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.